Did you know you can visualize your Excel data with Bing Maps? This is a very useful feature to make your data more comprehensible and easier to understand. The most applicable scenario is if you have data that is related to some geographical terms like country, state or city. To insert Bing Maps, go to the Insert menu and there in the Add-ins section you should see Bing Maps. If you do not see it, then you may need to fetch this add-in first. Just click on Get Add-ins button and search for Bing Maps and click on Add. When you have inserted Bing Maps to your Excel sheet, it will first display a disclaimer, please read it carefully, and when you have accepted it, it will display a default area based on the geo data of your internet connection and a message across the map welcoming you to Bing Maps and asking if you want to insert sample data. If you do not have any data prepared and want to use sample data, then click on Insert Sample Data button. This will enter a sample data set with state, revenue and expense values and visualize it on the map. By using the plus and minus buttons or your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out of the map and by dragging it you can focus it on a given region. A good option is to resize the map to fit the whole geographical area you want to visualize. You can then work with the sample data to adapt it to your needs. However, as the data range is not defined as a range or as a table, then to add more data you will have to insert rows in the middle of the sample data. If you try adding data at the end of the data set, it will be ignored. For each data row you enter, Bing Maps will mark the related place on the map with a pie chart reflecting your data. If you have your own data and you do not want to use the sample data, you can close the prompt suggesting usage of sample data when you insert your Bing Maps. Even if you already have Bing Maps inserted to your Excel workbook, but want to change the source data, you can simply mark your data and click on Show Locations button. Assuming your data has a column called something like country, region, state or city, followed by one or more columns with numerical data, Bing Maps should be able to plot it on the map. If you only have one data point per row, data will be displayed as circles, and if you have more data points, it will be displayed as pie charts, but you can change it later in the settings. There is an interesting limitation in Bing Maps other than in Excel. As you start entering your data, Excel may recognize it as geography and may suggest changing its type. You can also manually define your data as geography by going to Data, Data Types and clicking Geography here. However, when you want to use such data as source for Bing Maps, the add-on will return an error message. But if you use the same data without defining it as geography, everything will work just fine. You can change the look and feel of the map by clicking on the cogwheel button. There you can define what map type you want to use, road or bird's eye, and how multiple data points are supposed to be displayed, pie chart or circles. Additionally, you can decide whether the map should show a legend and also pick colors for each data point. If your source data range contains more data than you want to visualize, you can click on the filter button and select only those rows that are relevant. The map will zoom in and out to cover all marked locations. Clicking on the Help button will not open Help, but instead show the initial message that you see when inserting Bing Maps. If you click on the top right hand corner of the add-in, you will see another button. Clicking it will open the menu. Get Support will open the Microsoft Community page with various support articles, but you will have to search there to find topics related to the add-in. Select will select the Bing Maps object, for instance if you want to copy it to clipboard in order to later be able to paste it in PowerPoint. Please remember that Bing Maps will then be pasted as an image. Choosing Delete will simply remove the Bing Maps add-in and choosing Reload will make the add-in to read the underlying data once more. In most cases this should not be needed because the visualization on the map will be updated automatically when you change your source data. If you click Attach Debugger, there will be a new window opened showing the same dev tools you get to see when you open debugging in Edge. You can see there that Bing Maps add-in uses HTML for visualization.
Clicking on security info will display a prompt with the details of the add-in and clicking on show as saved image will convert the add-in to an image. This will make all the menu, zooming and scrolling options not work anymore because what you see on the screen is just an image now. Interestingly enough, even though you can reverse a deletion of a Bing Maps add-in, you cannot reverse a conversion of the map to an image. If there is anything you want to change on your map, you will have to insert a new Bing Maps add-in. Hopefully you find the Bing Maps add-in an interesting way to visualize your data. Please check our other videos to learn more on how to use various Office applications.